Welcome back to Crosshair Garage. Guys, have you all ever had one of those weeks where nothing went your way? I tried to put together a good video for you this week and, well, it just didn't happen. Um, but I'm not the type of guy that's going to lie and tell you. I'm not going to cut and edit and be like, look, all this fantastic stuff happened this week and it was easy. No, this week has fought me. And it's fought me tooth and nail. And I, I'm I'm ashamed to say I've lost. Um, but I am going to show you what did go on this week. Um, it's not very impressive, but, you know. First off, if you notice that the Willie's sitting a little weird. Well, it fell off the body cart, so that's that's something. I mean, that's. But if you come in here, I got to noticing that somebody they put new quarters on this at some point, and they pop riveted them on there. Um, did the same on both sides. Those are pop riveted on, as you can see, a pop rivet. And then they smothered it all with Bondo. Um, Bondo on here. I'm not sure if you can see how thick that is, but you know they're they're trying to fill this fill this gap. So I came in here and I put new. Uh, after my tail light trials, I just put some new uh, metal in. Um, got to smooth all that out still, um, both sides. This side here, I got to make some relief cuts and move that. But yeah, she's sitting great on that body cart. Uh, so if I can get this back on the body cart, I'm going to call this a win for the week and I'll start fresh next week. I'm going to take a day put together a fun little video for you guys here um, mostly it's going to be bloopers but this whole week was a blooper and we'll go from there I'm just out here cleaning up after that damn sandblasting video I don't know if you guys saw it if you haven't that was last week. Go check it out. Um, this week, as I said earlier, we're going to get on these taillights. So what I got is taillights. These are off a 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air. Um, a friend of mine gave these to me. Um, they were her father's um, project. I guess he was working on I don't know but we're gonna put them to good use we're gonna put them in Wilma um, I do realize there's a lot of body work still needs done on Wilma but I'm looking forward to kicking it out of here dragging the chassis in and starting on doing the four link stuff like that um, I'm tired of the sheet metal work guys I'm just tired of it um, yeah so let me get cleaned up and Get all this mess straightened out. I that coal slag is everywhere. Anyway, I'll get with you guys in a minute. Wow, this is exciting. So I've been thinking about the best possible way to go about this, um, and I got to tell you, I, I'm drawing a blank, guys. Um, I really am. Uh, problem that we got. Let's let's bring y'all in here. So the, the problem that we got is. Well, that, that doesn't quite fit. So we're going to fridge her in and kind of sink her back. It don't fit. Um, now, how that's going to work, I, I don't know. Do you guys know? Damn you, fit! But we're going to figure it out because I like these taillights and I want to make them work. Um, you know, a lot of people would create a bucket for this, kind of drop them down in. I, I don't know if we're going to go that route or not. Um, 
I'm gonna give it a little bit of thought. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use, try to use the few brain cells that I got left and uh, see if I can't come up with something. And yeah, let me get back to you when I got an idea. How's that sound? Because otherwise you're just watching me think. And that's even more boring than the, vid than the videos normally are. Dumbass. So I've been giving this a little bit of thought, guys. I thought what I would do is I'd take this piece of poster board, just kind of trace out that ring. I figure that's a good starting point, right? Because we're going to cut it out. Then we got something that we can take over. You know what I'm saying? It's flexible. It'll bend. So let's get this cut out. Get off me. God, look at this. You see what I did there? See what I got? Look. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> it is daggone near the same exact shape. I mean, not perfect, but. You know what? It's called Crosshair Garage for a reason, guys. So, let's take it home back over here. Alright, now I got you guys in here with me. I left, but I'm back. Alright, so, this here I know is my bottom. And this is my top. So, I don't know if you guys noticed earlier, but I've got levels hanging all over this thing. And this thing is about as level as she's ever going to get. So, I realize that we still got to do this floor, but that's going to be... The floor ain't going to be touched till this thing, till the, till the body's back on the frame. we got a lot of work to do on the frame yet. So, we're going to start right here. Because um, I want to have a little fun. Alright? That's 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 the bottom line to this. I want to have I want to do something fun. I'm tired of you know doing productive stuff. So that's what she looks like sitting down in the bucket. Obviously, we got a lot of welding to do, a lot of cleanup. Let's go over here. See how she's gonna look. Your species is self-destructive. bad Deadpool so we were going to we were going to French these taillights in out of a 54 Bel Air well they don't fit so I got these these are an updated LED version of a model a taillight um, you know I like them so we're working on that today. We're gonna to work on Frenching those in. Well, I don't know about that. I started on this side over here just to see if it would fit before I go recording a bunch of stuff. Let me tell you what I ran into. So for the life of me, so for the life of me, I cannot figure out, or I couldn't figure out why this Bondo is so thick on here. Now, I know you guys heard me complain about the Bondo being thick in other areas. And then I realized somebody's replaced these quarter panels at one point. But that's not the fun part. The fun part is, if you come back here, you can see where they've been attached. And right there, you can see how they've been attached. Somebody overlapped these. It looks like they pop riveted them in. Same on that side. They've replaced that quarter, pop riveted it in. So, now I get the fun, exciting job of taking these quarters off and replacing them. Well, taking them off and doing them right. I'm not going to replace them again because, well, that's just silly because these quarters are in good shape. Now, I thought something was kind of weird because 
this is just overlaid back here on this gas tank or the gas filler neck area so now I know why so we got work ahead of us once we get there but today we're just gonna work on Frenching these headlights in um, we're gonna push the body outside at that point and I may try breaking out that sandblaster on it I don't think it's gonna cut through the Bondo so probably have to take stripping pads to it and but I'm not gonna fill up my garage with uh, you know 200 pounds of Bondo dust but we'll get her all stripped all the way down you can see right here where they overlaid that and if you're wondering about this here nice little patch panel this is one that I had to make where well, I tried to fit those Bel Air lights in there and it just didn't work. Um, My name is Jeff. So, I'm going to pop this one out because it does work. And uh, I'm going to try to recreate it for this side. So, we're going to take some measurements and see where everything lies. Stop! 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 Stay off the page. Do the whole time. You do that the whole time, yeah. yeah. So JB's over and he is a uh, professional at removing windows and this is the last window that I have to remove is the windshield. So. Possibly alien, definitely destructive. Yeah. So he's got it all taped <coughs> up here. What, what's your process JB? Hammer, knock it out. Hammer, alright. I, I, uh, I'll put Dumbass. Bad day. Bad. some shit.
All right, guys. Well, to some degree, she's back on the body card. She's a little off, but you know what? It, it's workable. I can move it around the shop again. Um, and I'm plum tuckered from messing with this thing this week. It has been nothing but downfalls. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And we'll get cracking on it next week. And hopefully I'll have some better videos for you out after this. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. Um, really helps me out. helps the channel grow. Um, thanks a lot. Thanks for y'all's support. Love you guys. Stay awesome. Bye.